as I was doing my updates this morning, I came across an article that I probably won't be using as a blog entry. It's just too ridiculous, but check it out. Headline is, is Google Translate hinting at end of the world? If you scroll down in the article, it says that if you put the word dog 19 times into Google Translate using the language Maori as the originator, you'll get a strange message. Now, check it out. So let's try it. I got Maori picked. Let's put in the word dog 19 times and look what it says. It says doomsday clock is three minutes at 12. We are, and, and by the way, their grammar, it's Google Translate, so it's going to sound weird. But it says we are experiencing characters and a dramatic developments in the world, which indicate that we are increasingly approaching the end times and Jesus' return. Now, first of all, the end times have been here since the 2003 year prophecy of the prophet Daniel ended in the year 1844. And so we've been in the end times for quite a while now. And, but do you wonder why this is happening? I mean, besides the fact that most heavy into the occult know why the word dog is being used here, we all know just how evil the ones running Google really are. I mean, many of us know about the many false prophets that are to come forth in our day, making all sorts of strange predictions as well as preaching another Jesus onto the masses. And no, declaring Jesus is coming is not a strange prediction. It's true, but you got like that Catholic prophet, so-called, that keeps on going out there two or three times a year coming up with these new dates for what he calls the rapture, which was invented by Jesuits, by the way, and I have a few videos about that too if you're interested. But this is par for the course. The elite behind the doors of Google are all too happy to declare Satan their Christ, and so they're going to proudly announce his arrival, even in very minuscule ways like this, where they hide it, because that's just what Satan requires. And we also know Google is totally anti-Christian. I mean, that's why they have been centering my website for many years, while at the same time promoting the many false prophets and all the fallen churches of the world. They even have 666 in their logo so as to show loyalty to the man of sin in Rome. In any event, I just thought my subscribers would like to take a look at this. And so thank you for watching. God bless.